Hi, I'm Jack Duell with jackinthenet.com and in this tutorial series I'm going to show you how to use Elementor Pro and all of its Element widgets. If you want to see what they look like then go to elementor2020.co.uk I've laid them all out for you so you can take a look at them. And to get Elementor Pro go to jackinthenet.com forward slash EP. There you'll be able to get the membership you want, download the plugin and then upload it to WordPress. By the time we finish this tutorial series, you're going to be confident in using Elementor Pro to make a beautiful WordPress website that gets you the results you actually want. So please like the video, make sure to comment and subscribe. Now, let's dive in. Elementor makes it really easy to show off your products with their price list widget. So you'll find it under the Pro section or we can just search for price there it is so click and drag it on into the page now just bear in mind this is to do with designing what your price list is going to look like if you want to actually link this up with uh, woocommerce so you can sell your products i've got a different woocommerce tutorial i'll show you exactly how to do that but let's focus on making this look good first of all so you have three items in your list by default of course you can add more if you want to with a little add item menu or you can duplicate an existing one with the copy button just here but we'll stick with three for the moment when you click on a list item, the first thing you can do is change the price. So I can make my first item $25.99, change the title. You can add in a description if you want to, and then you can come on in and add an image. So I'm going to choose this one. And then of course you can put in a link so you can take it through to a particular page. If you're using WooCommerce, this would be your product page. And as normal, you can use the little link options to open this in a new window or use a no follow if you want to. I'm gonna leave this blank. And then I'll just add in a couple of other items. When you've added in the items that you want, the next thing you can do is create a second column. So we can come up here to our column settings I can right click and then just click duplicate and that automatically creates another column on the right for us and we can then of course go in and change these items so that they're something different. When you've done that and you've added in the uh, items that you want just head on up to the style tab that we've got up here as usual and this is where you can change the title and the description. So title and price we can change the color if we want to, make it light blue make it red. If you want all of these to be the same, then you can obviously style them up before you duplicate the columns. I'm doing it afterwards so that you can actually see the difference. You can also change the typography, so we can increase the size if we want to, make it bold, obviously change the font family, all the normal things you can do. You can do exactly the same thing with the description as well, so we can make this green, change the typography. You can also change the separator, so by default it is dotted, which is this option here that you can see. We can make that dashed, or we could make it double, and then you get just this sort of solid line effect here. Or of course you can have none if you prefer. I quite like it dotted, so I think we'll stick with that one. You can then increase the weight of it, so you'll see that these dots are now bigger obviously than these ones over here. So maybe around three or two, that's probably better. Again, you can change the color of them if you want to. And then you've got the image options. So by default, it gives you the thumbnail size. If I change this to medium, you'll see that it obviously changes the ratio. So the aspect ratio of the image and also slightly increases the quality of the image as well. If I took it up to large, it's really, really clear, but then it doesn't need to be that big because you're just wasting file size. So I think we'll drop it back down to medium. Play around with the border radius if you want to. This will curve the edges for us. So instead of corners, we've now got these slight curves. You can unlink them if you want. So if I make these all 50 and then unlink and got rid of these two, you see we've now got sharp corners down at the bottom but curves up at the top. And then after that, you've got the spacing. So if we increase the spacing, we got more of a gap here between the image and the actual text. And then last off, you've got the item option. So when I increase this, you see that we've got more of a gap between our rows, so between the items themselves. You can also align it. So that's put the text down there in the center, or we can have it near the bottom or up at the top. Now, I don't like the fact that our text is falling off the line here. If we wanted to, we could, of course, go into list, go into typography, and we could change this, bring it down, align it up properly, but I do prefer it with our default settings in this instance. So if I wanted to put them back, I can just copy on this one over here, 
come over, right click and paste style, and that puts everything back into the same style that we had over on this side. And finally, if you want to, you can come up to your actual section settings. If you wanted to stretch it across the full screen, turn on the stretch section and also change content width to full width. And likewise, we can also stick a background behind it as well. So under style and background, we could obviously put in a solid color if we wanted one. You can put in a gradient instead, or you can put in a whole image, a video, or indeed a slideshow. It's completely up to you. Now, personally, what I would do is actually just have this clear. I don't want a background behind it, but I do want a larger quality image without having the text fall off the page. So what I mean by that is if we preview the changes quickly, and I'll scroll on down the page so you can see what we've currently done. I like the fact that we've got all of this on one line. It's not too small, but I don't like the image size. I think it's low quality. So what I would do is come on over to our widget, come under style and uh, under the image, changes that to maybe medium large and then I'm going to copy paste style uh, but this is why the full width option is great for me so under the section settings under layout I do want to have stretch, uh, stretch section on and also content width as full because when we take a look at this it's just going to mean that we can actually fit the the higher quality image and the text all on the same line so I think that looks brilliant. You can link it up to your separate WooCommerce pages and have a price this on your website for whatever your products are that looks really cool. Thank you for watching the video. I really hope that it's helped you. Make sure to post any questions or suggestions that you've got in the comments, like the video and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.